Hi everybody, welcome back to Two Tall Stitchers. I'm Jennifer and this is my mom Carol and we're here to talk about stitching and a few other things today. There might be a little surprise so you might want to hang in there for a little bit um, but first of all I just want to say thanks so much for everybody who has come back to watch us again and welcome to those who are here for the first time. We're a mother-daughter stitching team. Um, We'll tell you today how far apart we live, whether or not we own a cross-stitch shop, all kinds of fun questions. <laughs> uh, but before we go into that, we'll start with our quilt of the day. And this one is mine and is actually pinned up to the back of one of mom's that you've seen before. Because um, it's a little one and I was thinking mom has showed you a lot of her smaller quilts, but I've stuck to mostly big ones. So I thought this would be a fun one to share. So the pattern for this was a series of 25 blog posts from Elizabeth Hartman. I don't know if she still maintains her blog. If she does, you might be able to find these there, but she has also released a, like a cat's pattern, which I'm guessing would have these in it. Um, each block is just a little bit different. Um, so you made one a day for 25 days, or like me, you made 25 over six or eight or 10 weeks. Um, Months. But this is a little quilt I made for the princess when she was little. She wanted to make a kitty cat quilt. And so when this pattern came out, I knew it was perfect. So she picked out all the colors and I made the blocks and then she decided the setting layout. So you can see she went diagonally uh, this way by rainbow color. So it was kind of fun. And um, this is just a little wall quilt that um, it actually doesn't hang in her room right now. She has a lot of other stuff on the walls, but uh, it's a fun little one and love the bright pops color. I think this is probably really the first scrap quilt that I made out of scraps. And I had such a good time then. Um, I started doing the rainbow scrap challenge after that. And uh, yeah, I, I've, been, I've learned I enjoy making the same block with different fabrics and using scraps in it. So that's our quilt of the day. Yes. All right. Great. I wanted to say that this is our floss tube number 22. Yeah. Um, you know, we celebrated our one year anniversary a couple ago ago, and it's just amazing. And we've enjoyed meeting all of you and getting to know you. Some yeah. of you comment very frequently, which we love to read, and we feel like we kind of know you now. And um, we just, we really appreciate you watching us and commenting, and we love to read all your comments, so keep them coming. And especially when we get you to make up word, sentences using keywords, that's yes, hysterical. That's really I love cool. that part. That's I'll call her and say, did you read? And she'll go, not yet. I said, well, get on it, because it's really funny. But Okay, okay I just realized I have my stats from today still in the back. Uh, so you keep going, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I want to say hi to Linda. She came in the shop the other day with her husband. She actually beat me there. I showed up about five after 10 and they were already hot at it. And um, it was a great couple, so nice to meet them. And Linda is the one who put Jennifer on to watering the mints from- Vanilla mints. Vanilla mints, mints from Amazon. Yes. And it turns out that there are no more right now. They're out of stock. But oh. she said, since Jennifer ordered them, she thought she should try them too, and she does like them. <laughs> So I said, yes, these, glad, <laughs> these will keep Jennifer going for a short time. But I said, I guarantee you, she's working her way through the bags. Yes. So that was great to meet you. And I'm so glad you came in. That was just super. Yeah. And then I wanted to say, um, if you watched our last ep episode, we had a little discussion about the word hankering. And I just want to say hi and thank you to Margaret from Montreal who um, says that she says hankering, she's never ever been to Texas. So thank you, Margaret. I appreciate you supporting my use of the word. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, great, Margaret. Just encourage her. I appreciate that so much. That's just wonderful. Okay. All right, life updates. What's going on with life you? Life updates. Okay. Um, my grandson came last week. It was great to see him. His plane didn't get in until 1230 at night. And so by the time but we really bed, you would have been up anyway. Oh, I would have been yeah. up. Yeah. But, you know, we sat at the airport for like 45 minutes, you know, waiting for the call. And then um, I said, thank God for a cell phone lot and my phone, which let me watch uh, a floss tube while I was waiting. <laughs> and um, then um, he came. And by the time we went to bed, it was probably 3 a.m. And it turned out the next day was rainy. And we picked up Jack and Jenna from school. And so they got to see him. And then we all went and had sushi. And I wish I, I should have, uh, we should insert that picture. Um, there was a nice big platter of sushi and he sent a picture to his dad and said, I think I ate half of it. And I said, yeah, I think you did. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He did. He loved it. So <laughs> it was wonderful to see him. Like I said, we haven't seen him in over two years 
And um, it was just so neat. And it was nice because it was a one-on-one. -on -one. There were no yeah. other distractions, no mom and dad, no brothers or anything else. And so we really got to, you know, interact with him. Nobody yeah. was answering questions for him or, you know, inserting stupid comments or stuff like that. <laughs> so it was fun. Which happens and, when you have siblings. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. And or so, parents. Yeah. So, yeah. So it was great. And, and we just had a wonderful time. And it was exciting. And he actually made a drive back through here on his way back to Colorado because he's bringing a car back so yeah. he can work with Denver this summer. Think, yeah. Right? Which yeah. means we may not be here, but hopefully yeah. we'll see. Yeah. And then my other good news, which is on a totally different note, is I was a good girl a couple of weeks ago and I had my annual mammogram. And uh, I haven't said much about it, but I was diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2019. I had surgery and I had uh, radiation. radiation many times. And most of the time the machine broke. Um, I should insert a picture of that machine. It's huge. Jennifer uh, almost faded when she saw it. But anyway, I had my mammogram a couple of weeks ago and it shows no sign of cancer. So yay. I am very relieved and, and oh, I'm glad goodness. of that. And if you haven't had a mammogram lately, please go do it. If it's caught early and they can get on it, I thought I'd have to have chemo. It was not necessary. Um, the surgery, it was a lumpectomy. It wasn't terrible. And, um, and it's just really important for your health, for you, for your family, you know, uh, just get it done and, if you have it. And the important thing is yours was found on the mammogram. Yes, it was yes. not a palpable lump no, it that wasn't. you could feel. In fact, when she went to the doctor the first time, she couldn't find it. So that's why mammograms are important. Also, your monthly self-exams. So we're, yes. we're big proponents for that. Yes. And that's great yes. news. Yes. yes. So yeah. yay for me. I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. I'm trying to think in the last two weeks. Probably the biggest update, as I told you last time, the princess got her hair cut. Um, she went from hair that was halfway down her back to a very short do. Hair and... that's halfway down her neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll show you that in a little bit. So, yeah. Why don't we jump into questions? Okay. Um, so, first of all, uh, last episode when I was editing, my computer totally locked up on me and I had to shut the whole thing down and I lost the video when it was about two thirds done. And when I got back up to get everything going again, I was like, okay, I'm just going to power through this. I think I remember everything and I forgot the graph. So we're going to start with the graph from last episode, which was about which type of fabric you like to stitch on. And so you will see here our graph with our stats from last time. Almost half of you prefer Ada as your first choice. And then the others are split up between linen, even weave and all others. So then we thought this time it would be fun to ask you what kind of stitcher are you? And, um, you know, I, I watch a lot of floss too where people say they're seasonal stitchers. Like, oh, I'm, you know, no. the spring's yep. almost over. I'm moving on to the summer stitching yep, and I'm packing it up and putting and, it yeah. away. And, and we're both kind of any, any, anything yep. stitchers. And so we asked you last time, what, what do you stitch? Are you a seasonal stitcher? Are you in anything, anytime, or are you kind of a focused stitcher? Um, the results were overwhelming. This is the first, this is the strongest response we've gotten back. Um, 75 of you are anything, anytime. And the comments on that were hysterical. Um, like, I just go by a whim. I'm watching Floss Tube. I pause, buy something, and start it while I'm still watching. <laughs> Um, I thought it was funny. Some people are like, I'll stitch anything, but I don't stitch this. Uh, Halloween was the one that some people yeah, don't stitch. Yeah, a lot of people and, don't stitch Halloween. And also, um, people outside the United States commented they don't stitch patriotic, yeah. which makes sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that was 75. And then behind that was seasonal stitchers. So we had 16 of you who were seasonal stitchers and 10 of you who are focus stitchers who generally stitch on the same thing and one person did you see this said she stitches snowmen all year no i missed yeah. that one. Oh, yeah. yay so that's her yay. favorite snowman that would be me yes with you so um yeah so people who were focused said they generally um there were some sampler stitchers some who stitch christmas all year or halloween all year um Somebody said they were an occasion stitcher, which I thought this was neat. They stitch mm. for birthdays, weddings, babies. Oh, that's neat. Most yeah, of what yeah. they stitch, they're stitching to give someone else. Um, we did have several people who were very anti-Halloween and didn't <laughs> stitch any Halloween. Like, I like fall, but I don't stitch Halloween. Um, and then there were a couple of people who said they stitched a lot of Quakers. I'd love to see some of those Quakers. So mm -hmm. for our, our focus stitchers who are doing the Quakers, please send us a picture. Our email is in the box below. 
Yeah, that'd be um, great. Yeah, so then we'll go on to other questions. All right, we had a couple questions about Ship Shawana. So Lynn wanted to know how far we live from ships. I'd say it's about two and a half hours, almost three. It's, it's three hours door to door. Oh, okay. okay. But the reason I know that is because, what, three years ago? Oh, yeah, you came up by yourself. I went on a trip with my Girl Scout troop, and I was going to miss retreat, and I got back, and I was like, I think I can still go. So I drove up on Friday night. Yeah. I, we drove home on Thursday, like a 14-hour drive. And then Friday night, I left at 7, and I got there at 10 o'clock yeah. on the dot. It was three hours door to door. That's if you don't stop, you right. don't have lunch. Right. I did have to get gas, but um, yeah, usually we stop, we have lunch, we We have the neatest visit. place in, in Warsaw? No, Wabash. Wabash. Where we have lunch. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not Dirty Harry's. It's No. <laughs> no. It's... It's Harry's kettle Harry's or something. Harry's copper kettle yeah. or Harry's old kettle. No. <laughs> and it's it's an old drive-in yeah. where, you know, where you used to park outside and, and they would bring the stuff out to you, I think. And so that long room has been extended and closed in and you walk in and it's dark and everything. And we walked in there and, and the she got it time. off Yelp and it was, yeah. said it was really good. And we walked in and I was like, I can't see. How are we going to be able to order food? Mm -hmm. It was just really dark. And of course, it was bright out when we came in. Yeah. And then we ordered food, and then we stopped there Every for lunch on the way so up good. and lunch on the way home. So, yeah, yeah it's really good. Yeah. Really good. Except they just switched to Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so three hours. with, And you can see, we don't get there in three hours because we take <laughs> detours, just like we do in our talking. Uh, Vicki asked, are there any stitching, cross-stitching shops in Shipshawana? Nope. There used to be a yarn shop, and that closed a couple of years ago, which is good for me. Uh, well, probably three or four years ago now, because it was well yeah. before COVID, yeah. and there are no stitching shops. The closest one is in Laporte, and that would be House of Stitches. And, and that then, would probably be an hour, a hour good and hour, a half. Hour, hour, because it's yeah. further west. Yeah. It's past Actually, South Actually, probably Fort Wayne is probably closer. Fort Wayne, yeah. yeah, there's one in Fort yeah. Wayne, but I, I, we've never really looked because we have enough other stuff we just don't yeah. find. We generally, we enjoy shopping at the same shops we always go to up there. We wander through them and then we, we actually try and get some sewing done while we're there. <laughs> Crazy idea. Um, uh, all right, Sally asked, what's a sow? A sow is a stitch along. And that's usually when a group of people it can be um, a, a bee or a, a stitching group, or it can be an online group, or it can just be somebody following their wonderful false, false tubers, and they say, hey, we're going to do berries. You know, would, how about we have a sow? And that's when everybody stitches, and then you kind of show your progress and, and uh, talk about it in the comments and everything else. Or, yeah. you know, so um, they're fun. Yeah. They're fun. I try not to get sucked into them. But <laughs> unfortunately, I'm next to the biggest sucker. So... Uh, <laughs> I am picking out patterns for the for the berry sow. I haven't committed yet. Yeah, we'll get to the berry sow because I've ordered a few more patterns. Yeah. Uh, okay, that I need. Uh, Mary Lynn asked, "What happens with our shop model pieces?" They go in the shop, and then after a period of time, which will probably be at least a couple of years, yeah, because um, we just went through and cleaned out some a couple months ago that had been there quite a while, and then they will go back to us. Yeah. But in the, we make them, you know, to be displayed in the shop. Right. Yeah. I think her general <clears throat> rule is if the pattern's no longer available or right. at the point at which it's really not selling anymore. Yeah. I know I did a shop model for her <clears throat> many years ago, and it was a popular one. It stayed in the shop for probably six years. Um, so it just kind of depends on how easy it is for her to continue to get it and how how many patterns it's yeah. selling because that's the goal of your shop models is they actually sell more patterns. And the other thing is that, whatever I was going to say just went out of my head. Um, I don't know. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, your... I know. Um, what we're shop? What, what she has not had a lot of current shop models. There are not a yeah. lot in this shop right now. So Jennifer and I have taken upon ourselves in our idiocy to try and change that so you've done one two at least three that are out yeah. and then i've done four, four that i took in the other day yeah. and i have two more here to finish yeah. and then you'll see another one that's getting close and so um and i think i have another one we're not sure if it's mine or if it's a shop <laughs> model we'll figure it out at some point but um yeah so we're trying to help and and bring some models in so that people can see stuff because yeah. the ink circles one that Jennifer finished we have had to reorder that I think twice now because people have come in and they've really liked it yeah. and they they want to they want to do it 
So, you know, models definitely help. So I won't see that out. one for a while. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, we stitch them knowing that going into it. And, yeah. um, oh, and I did that big Halloween one. Yeah. And the Quaker yeah. one, the May Quaker. Yeah. I finished that. Yeah. Good. So. All right. Uh, Deborah asked, who's your favorite tennis player? Roger Federer. I think Is that because how he plays or how he looks? Oh, he's young for me. Oh. Um, <laughs> I think he's pretty cute. I, I think he's cute. And he's he's I, probably I, young for me too, but yeah. <laughs> if he's, we're honest. He's catching up with you. Not me. I could be his grandmother probably. Um, but no, I like him because I like he, he plays a clean game and he's not a big whiner. He doesn't grunt. Oh my God, <laughs> the grunters grunting. drive me crazy. Yeah. And every once in a while he'll add a little grunt when he's really working hard. But he just he's a clean player. Yeah. I remember him years ago. He used to have a bit of a temper. But then he cut his hair off, and I guess they took the temper with it. And he's mellowed <laughs> out. Maybe four kids has helped. <laughs> that might have helped, yeah. All right. Brian asked where we buy Lady Dot um, trims. And I found a few of those in shops when we've been shopping, and I tend to pick them up there when I see them. But she also has a an Etsy store, so you can find Lady Dot trims at her store or at a lot of other online stores. Um, and then he also asked, what do we recommend for picking out stitches? Lots of wine. <laughs> I just use my needle. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all I use. Good. Yeah. yeah, we don't use anything special, I think. just It depends just on how many. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you got Sometimes a lot. Sometimes a seam ripper, but very mm, rarely. I'm no use. I, use, yeah. I use my needle. Yeah. I use my needle. <clears throat> okay. Judy asked, how close to each other do we live? Uh, seven minutes. It's four miles. Yeah. And they've just put in a new traffic light, which has slowed us down a little bit. But <laughs> when you remember, it was a four-way stop yeah, before. Yeah. It was, and boy, I'll tell you, for the first six months, it was really hard to go there when it was green and keep on driving, yeah. because for how many years you stop and then you go, and you know the people behind you didn't like that too much. Yeah. But uh, we've we've managed to overcome that, and now we do stop for the red light and yeah. go for the green. Yeah, and we're so really it's close. Nice. It's we're not very far. close. Yeah. It's easy to run up. But the yeah. other night, I ran up to drop off something oh something dad forgot yeah and in my pick up car floss. and a pickup floss. yeah so we're up and down <laughs> multiple times a week um the fringe quilt that you showed in the last one i couldn't find the name of the person who asked this so i apologize but somebody asked would it be a good beginner friend i would pattern? not recommend it yeah. i would not recommend it because there's a lot of if you look closely at it which we didn't let you <laughs> you know the 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 sashing has to there's dividing and then your sashing is supposed to match and everything else and that's a lot to take on for a first quilt not only corners that match but also all the sashing sashing yeah. but the, it's broken up a lot yeah. in yours yeah. yeah it was divided up yeah. and everything so i would not recommend that i would i would pick something a little easier yeah a little easier and then deborah and judy both asked do we have a cross stitch shop <laughs> no no, um, we've talked about it. There was one in town that um, went out of business and we talked about buying it, but um, somehow we talked ourselves out of it. Yeah. And um, I wish we hadn't, but we did. And um, we would love to have a shop, Yeah. but not right at this time. The phases in life uh, and lack of medical insurance would be a prohibitor for, you. for a shop. Yeah. 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 So yeah. maybe someday we'll see. I'm in talks with my friend Beth, and maybe uh, when we both retire, we'll get a shop, and then mom can be our star employee. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to live long enough to drive them crazy. Let me just insert one other yeah. thing. That's the end yeah. of the questions. But let me just say that we're filming this a week early. Oh, yeah. Um, I, we forgot to mention that. That was one of the things that went right in and out. Um, we're filming this a week early because on Wednesday, we're leaving for our retreat to go to Shipshawana, and we won't be back till Sunday afternoon. And so we thought we'd knock it out this weekend since yeah. the weather is good and the light is good and we both have some time. Yeah. So yes. And we have something else. So we're going to yes, pause we here and be back in a second with a little reset. Yep. And now there are three. <laughs> We'd like to welcome the princess. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> and with short hair. And yes. with short hair. So show them all your great hair. haircuts. Mm -hmm. She decided to whack it all off. And... But the best part is she's donated to Locks for Love. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she had so much hair that we figured that at least three people ought to get wigs out of yeah. that. Because yep. she had a boatload of hair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. And you're here today to work with Gran on a project. Yes. But you brought a couple of things that you yeah. have finished since you were with us, what, over a year ago? Uh -huh. I don't have any finished cross-stitch projects, although I was... 
working on Looks one right. today. Uh, but last time I was here, I showed you the diamond painting of the Brooklyn Bridge. And ta-da! Yeah, hold it close. Well, it hold has it close. Been, it has been finished. Took me two, either two and a half years or like a year and a half. It's yeah. stunning. It. It's so pretty in person. Yes. So it looks pretty great. in person. And then the next project that I finished was a gift from a family friend. And I I did this in about two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I came home and worked on it. And yeah. then um, I worked on it over the weekend. And this one is different because it has square diamonds. Uh, Let's put it up close, because yeah. some people yeah. have said they didn't know what diamond painting was, but yeah. hopefully this gives you an idea. They're little pieces of plastic, right? Yep. And this is a sticky back thing mm -hmm. that is covered, and you just peel it back as you're working, and then your elbow gets stuck on the sticky part. <laughs> and and then you, you peel it back, and you do it, and then you can pull it and cover it up again, yeah. so you don't take the whole thing off at once. So little did, tiny, tiny I pieces. I did something different this time with the sticky wrap. I divided it into sections. So I would, instead of peeling it back, I would cut one section off and do that in a sitting and then keep going. So wow. yeah. And the, the reason why you did this so quickly is because you found a new show to stream. <laughs> and you were, <laughs> how many episodes have you watched in like? Uh, it's Chicago Fire. Yeah. Oh. Um, so there's about 20 episodes to a season and they're about 40 minutes long. And I finished the first season in a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> And oh. diamond painted the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and I, so I'm currently yeah. on the I'm currently on the third season now. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show, I talked about this in the last episode, but if you're interested in diamond painting or you know someone who is, this is a little box I got for uh, to store my diamonds in, and you can find them at jewelry stores or craft stores. They're really easy to find, but the, they're these little containers and they just twist off. And the one thing I like about this kit is that it has one that's bigger, which is nice when you have colors that have a lot of diamonds. So if you're looking to diamond do diamond painting, I would recommend something like this. Instead you got that of, at either Joanne's or Michael's. Or Michael's, yeah. One, yeah. Of the yeah, two, one of the two. But yeah. you should be able to find it at any craft store. But look yeah. in the jewelry making supplies. Yeah. 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 They Lots of little findings. They probably won't have yeah. something specifically labeled for diamond painting, but little containers like these I have found are so much easier. And this does come off, and that oh. makes it easier. So, like, if you're working in a small space and you can't fold it off, it does oh, come off. Nice. But I really like working with this. It's very easy to store and it keeps it keeps all your stuff in one place. It's much easier than working out of the bags that they give you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Anything else you want to share? Um, well, we're going to Michael's after right after this so I can get some more because I finished this one yeah. so quickly. So yeah. maybe I can return with more finished projects. Yeah. All Hopefully right. in less than a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, this one took me two still weeks. Still, yeah. several episodes uh -huh. of Chicago. Oh, yeah, okay. I still have okay. seven more seasons to, to watch. Go. So, oh, yeah. then she'll be yeah. back in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Thanks for coming uh, on. Yes. And no problem. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now we're gonna get to some stitching. So um, we have several whips to show you, and then I have several whips to show you. You're making faces, yeah. and then we'll get into some finishes. Um, so just as a reminder, I think I talked about it last time, but it is Stitch Mania, um, and my goal for Stitch Mania is to stitch every day and work on five whips and five new starts. So what I'll show you is what I've worked on so far in May. And what are you doing for Mania? Well, uh, first I said I wasn't going to do anything, but then, uh, helpful here, was going through my stuff after the last floss tube and said, look at this, look at that. And I was like, oh, okay. So I decided to make a list of quick finishes. And so I have some things that I have... That I, <laughs> Don't <sorry>. worry. <laughs> that I have very close to being finished. And actually, I think I have three of them um, finished, finished already. already. Yeah. So that was kind of exciting. And so, are we showing those yet, or are, we're not? 
I don't have much in progress that I want okay. to show you. Well, then I'll show my. I want to start something. My else. starts first. Okay, so the first one. This was my first new start for Stitch Mania, and this is called "Love Lives Here" by Country Cottage and Needleworks, and I am stitching this one as a shop model, and this is on the called four count antique white. Ant looks like. Antique white. Or cream. Cream, something like that. And I got a great start on the house. So this was a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday project. So um, I'm really pleased. There's a bunch of white stitching in there. Um, yeah, and this was a fun start. And I look forward to getting back to it and putting some more color in it. Let me see real quick. Which bag is for this one? I, the bag right under it. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is on. Do you want to hold it up for a second? Yes. While I look I'll hold it up so that we, what it's we on. have something to look at. It is on 32 count cream Belfast linen. Okay. With That's... the called for classic color works. Okay. Colors. All right. So that was my first new start. And then after that one, I went to a whip. You want your pattern in there? Thank you. One moment, please. I'm really with it today. Um, and then I went to my first whip, which I actually started this during Stitch Mania last year, and it is Goody Grimwood by Plum Street Samplers. And I am stitching this one on the called for uh, Stars Hollow Blend by R and R Reproductions, and I'm using 40 count with all of the called for threads. It's over two, right? One strand over two, two. yes. And so I stitched a lot of gray. Um, I filled in the lattice work on the house and then I worked on, I think I was up by this first window. So I got all the way down to the second set of windows. And then the last day I did a little bit of green in here just to put a little color <laughs> in it. So that one's coming along real well. I love this one when I pull it out and stitch it. I really like the 40 count with one thread. Interesting. Yeah. I haven't tried that yet. I don't, well, yeah, I guess I have. You've done 36 count with one yeah. thread. Yeah. And then the next one, I couldn't wait to start on this one. Um, this is uh, Let's Talk Stitching by Hands on Design. And I'm doing this design here, which we'll make into the project bag. And we both have the project bags. And I got a great start on this. I'm stitching this with the called for silky threads on... Oh, shoot. <laughs> you guys want to guess what I'm stitching it on? Uh, picture this plus... Charcoal, I think, isn't it? Um, slate. 28-count slate by Picture This Plus. And with sulky... Or, sorry, I said with called for sulkies. It's not called for with sulky. I decided to do sulkies with this. And I am loving Because it. Mom had a lot of sulkies. Mom had sulkies. I had some sulkies. Um, and boy, it goes fast with just the one strand of thread. Yeah. And you can see I did a whole lot of white, so that went really fast. So that one's fun, and I'm really looking forward to finishing up that one. And then my next whip was Graveyard Goblins. And you guys have seen this one a little bit before. This is being stitched on what I think is a 28 count mystery linen. Um, it wasn't labeled. I got it at one of the like stitcher sales and I worked on this big tombstone and got that finished. And then I started the fencing along here. So I can't tell you how happy I am to get all this gray stitching done. Um, and I really like how the fence is looking. So after this, there's one more tombstone over here and a moon up here, but then below starts all the specialty stitches in this one. And I cannot wait. That's that's why I bought this pattern. Um, it's going to be cute. I, I can't wait to start the specialty stuff. So that will come once I get the fence built. Yeah, I'll just show yeah. you up close. See, those are what she's talking about. The ones at the bottom. Yeah. So that'll be neat. Yeah. <clears throat> so then we come to the current one. And um, we said last time we were going to do a berry sow. And then both of us started things that 
aren't berries. They're kind of small <laughs> things like that, yeah. but they're not actually berries. So you yeah. want to show yours first okay. and then I'll show mine. You've seen this before and actually I'm all done except for the whiskers and then I, I need to oh. finish it. Yeah, I worked on it. The, I was in the shop the other day by myself and it wasn't busy in the afternoon. So I was able to get a lot done. This is the mouse by Just Nan, the, um, what is he? The Stitchy Witchy Mouse. Okay. It's kind of so, like a berry. You probably yeah. finish it. Yeah, it's going to be way. finished on that way. But here he is. His ears are outlined. His The little black dots are Smyrna crosses. And there's a cat in there and everything. And this was fun. It was a really quick stitch because it was so small. So now I just have to cut it out and um, finish it. There's some beading that goes on it. And then he has a wire tail. It all comes with are it. Are you going to finish so, it or are you going to let the shop finish it? Um, finish oh, it? you never know. Oh, I'm that's try. really cute. Except that I post the yeah. issues. Oh, well, they're in here somewhere. Uh, there, there, yeah. 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 Okay. And then my so non, that's my non berry. My non berry start is from the 2019 Christmas Ornament Stitch Along. And it is right here. And it is a pendibule. Mm -hmm. And um, I had seen Helen D stitch one of these. And it was so cool. And she mentioned there's one in one of the Just Cross Stitch magazines. And so after her last episode, she has all the magazines. I sat on the floor and I went through every magazine. And guess which one was the last magazine I looked at? <laughs> this one. Um, but I started this on Friday. It was my Friday stitching. And I finished it this morning. So wow. all the stitching is done. It's called Cute Deer. And it's by Doreen Jones. And this is on a 30 count mystery fabric that came in, again, one of my stitch and grab bags. So I'm super excited to cut that out and do the finishing on it. You you fold it across the middle, fold it down, and then you stitch it together here and then loop it to join it. Um, and this one, you, you do beads when you stitch it together. So I am looking forward that's to gonna that. It's going to be neat. You haven't yeah. seen that yet. She was pretty excited when she got it. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. And I that's... just put my initials in the year up here. Turn it around. Yeah. Did you miss some back stitching? See, like over here. No, that's that's not supposed to be back stitched. Right, right there. No, not oh, on oh, top. Just oh, on the bottom oh, oh, okay, of the leaves. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, the back stitching. I I posted on Instagram this morning when I finished this, and then I I also posted a picture of it before the back stitching. Boy, back stitching really makes this. Back project. stitching makes any project yeah. amazing. It but just especially brings out the definition. that one. Yeah, there's so much in it. Okay. All right. Now we get to finishes, and you yeah. have a lot to share. My my quick finishes. This was my um, Heinzit, uh Noel, Mary Noel, and um, it was really close. And so is that one of the ones one of our viewers sent us? I believe so. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And thank you very much. I love it. And of course, I didn't read the colors right, so it's a little different than the thing. But who cares? Um, it was supposed to be more gradated, but I like it the way it is. Mm. And um, I even got the charm sewn on. So. That will be a, a quick finish when I finish finish. You and know, this is on 28 count Jobelin Lamb's Wall. And you stitched this with sulky threads, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I used yeah. the sulky. Because she used the white and then brought it down to me so that I could stitch the, uh, the other one because I didn't have any white sulkies. Okay. This was a free pattern from Tiny Modernist and it was Noel. And yeah, no, this is, this is here. That's, that's that's not the oh, oh no it's not it's not the pattern. it looks like it's it. not oh. it's the finish. okay <laughs> okay quit fighting anyway anyway so yeah. anyway I started it and Jennifer came and looked at it and I had the N O and she looked at that and she said you realize you don't have enough fabric there to do a Noel so I changed it to Joy I and mean, you've seen this before but I just finished the border and I now that I look at it I have those million 2022 20, charms I think I'm going to put one down right in the border under the Y. Yeah. And so that's another quick finish that this And this you'll finish done. into like an ornament? Yeah. 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 yeah I nice. think so. Just a long, nice... skinny ornament. Yeah. 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 So that's that. And then I was, um, well, while someone was looking through my magazines, she found the one where I thought I was going to do, you know, one every month, as you can tell by the tabs. And this <laughs> is from 2017. But... Is it on the front? It's Yes, it is. Yeah. It's right here. This little one. I thought was just adorable. And that was probably one of my 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 first or my only start. And so... And you like it was with your magazine. Yeah, it was, it was with, with the with magazine. The piece in it almost finished. So it's done. And um, 
I just used mystery fabric that I had. Yeah. And it wasn't really, this is just a tip, it wasn't really dark light, dark enough to show off the white yeah. for the snowflakes and the, the cuffs of the mittens. So I just took a really pale blue and outlined them to kind of yeah. accentuate them. And then again, I used one of my 2020 22 charms. Nice. So yeah, so that'll so three I'll get quick done. finishes. Three quick finishes, yeah. That's great. Shocking is the word, shocking. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, right. I'm pleased to have those essentially off my list. Good. And then, and then I showed this, all right. Yeah, yeah. for FFOs, I finished up the flat fold oh, of um, the wedding. Reminders of Love by Ben Creek. This is the piece I adjusted to make a wedding piece for my friend. And so I did it with this fabric on the back and in the middle using the tutorial by bon Vanna Pfeiffer. Um, the Twisted Stitcher. The Twisted Stitcher. Twisted Stitcher. Yep, great tutorial. And um, I think I, I think it needs a little something around the edges. So I think I'm going to take it with us to Ship Shimon and look for a little ribbon or something oh, yeah. that I can maybe ruche around mm -hmm, the edges mm -hmm. or something. But yeah. um, but she's not a real like foofy person. So I'm not going to put a bunch of big bows on it no. or anything, mm -hmm. but just I'm something simple fine. to add a little color around yeah. the outside. So yeah, so I was happy to get that one done. Yeah. And um, let's see, so, did you have a previous finish yeah, you wanted to show? Yeah, I have show? a previous finish. Yeah. Um, since Miss Jenna was here today, um, I have these monthlies, just like Jennifer and I have it in this stand. And uh, before you ask Brian, I bought it at <laughs> Stitchcraft in Bel Air, Texas, probably 30 years ago. And she is no longer in business, so God help you. The only thing on the back, <laughs> the number is 1273, but there's no model or anything else. Yeah. But this is a, a little um, cork, cork board. board. So this is May. Jenna just put that in for me. And I have all the months done, and it's her responsibility to change them out when she comes. Yes. <laughs> so that's right. the only fin other finish yeah, I have. That's yeah, that's all the finishes. Yeah, I haven't... Um, do you mm -hmm. want to show your previous quilt finish? Also? Sure. We want to do that? Okay. Sure. Um, I don't have any anything, any other okay. crafts to show Oh, today. I do too. Okay. So um, uh, the quilt shops do a, a thing called row by row, and you go to different stores, and you get a kit for each from each shop and they all tie together and this one was came from mm, quilt quarters i quilts think plus. In, quilts plus think. um either that or uh, quilt quarters so instead of making it into a quilt i made it into a table runner yeah and so it sits out because this is may and it's you know crazy race time here in indianapolis they're just all over the place oh my goodness yeah on, on, so on when so we live about five or six miles north of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And it's like our neighborhoods are generally pretty quiet, but the town of Speedway, which is inside of yeah. Indianapolis, which is where the racetrack is, is nuts the entire month of May. Yes. Sometimes we drive down just to watch all the crazies. Okay, I'll tell you in a minute. And, <laughs> and, and if the wind is out of the south, we can hear the cars. Yeah. We can hear the cars. And then when they do the flyover on Memorial Day for the race, um, they fly over, right over, right over here. So yeah. we get to watch that. And the first year we were here, um, I had never experienced anything like the 500. And the, the stands are going to be full again this year. So they're expecting what, a couple hundred thousand 250, people. 250,000 yeah. people. Tons of people. So they are all over the place. I mean, they're like rabbits. They just multiply. And so Jenna, Jennifer drove us down there one night just to see what it was like, the sea of humanity and everything. And the best thing I saw was the guy who was holding up a wooden sign that two, had two holes in it. And it said, free mammograms. Okay, that just made me laugh. I thought it was funny, um, but yeah, yeah very they, creative. They're yeah, they they sell a lot of beer, a lot, a lot of beer, a lot, lot of all kinds yep, of alcohol. Yep. Yes. Oh yes, oh yes. yes. But it's and neat. you've never been to the five hundred. No, I've, I've been to been twice. Yeah, once in the infield and once in the stands. Yeah, and it's it's interesting to go to once. I was at the race they had yesterday. What is that? The um, the one they the wiggle breaker. around. Oh, the, the, the formula. Yeah, the formula Grand Prix. Yeah, the, the Grand Prix. Prix. I, we went to that with a friend of my husband's, and um, one and done. Yes, <laughs> been there, done that. <laughs> Rather be again. stitching. Very, yes. very noisy. Yes. Okay, All so right. we have some other finishes. Um, no, let's no, let's let's do this first, okay. and then we can do it. Okay, okay. I hope you're sitting down. I did not finish the sweater. Don't worry, but <laughs> I did finish my sock done and I started this the other one and so that's it's um she's tall to and she has big feet yeah <laughs> look at that so and so yeah nice and then 
I was on my computer yesterday and there's a, a, an embroidery place called Pickle Pie Designs and they have, um, every week they have a $5 special. And you know, I bought all those <laughs> key ring things because I was going to not, you know. Anyway. You were saving money. I was saving money. By buying but hundred. anyway, this week they had these really neat little keychains. Oh, cute. And it's, you, it, they come with all the initials. So all you do is you call it up and you have the initial. So I made that this morning for my best friend because her birthday present is late as usual. And then I made this one for my daughter who likes green. Oh, I like it. Okay. Thank you. And then this one was a real stretch. I uh, made it for Wonder Child over there, the princess. And it's oh, I love it. purple. Hey, hey, wake up. <laughs> She's not paying attention. I made you something purple. <laughs> okay. Okay. So anyway, these were fun. Super I made cute. them all this morning and they take me like five minutes. Oh, great. There. Okay. So. I like it. Good. She so. approves. She says it's cute. <laughs> and it's purple. They did it just for you. Show she me. doesn't like purple. Not my color. Yeah. Okay. All right. What else? Uh, uh, haul? Haul. Haul. I just have one haul that came out of my mother's sewing room. <laughs> so again, last time we filmed and then I pretty much stayed here all day. Yeah. I think we went and got lunch and then we dissed around and um, looked through magazines. I looked through magazines. I made her clean off her cutting table, which looks <laughs> about like it did before we started three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And I came across, or you came across this when you were looking for quick finishes and said, I was going to stitch this for you, but I haven't. So here, happy Mother's Day, happy birthday, happy whatever. Yeah. So um, this is a Mill Hill Buttons and Beads kit. Uh, that looks like it's a couple of years old called Camping Out and can't wait to stitch that one. I'm, I'm working on a little set of camping things that will go yeah. after Patriotic in July and be like my August, uh, September stuff. She so. actually tried to buy that twice in the store and I kept saying, you don't want to buy that. You don't yeah, want to buy she that. kept saying, you can't buy that. I was like, what do you mean I can't buy this? So anyway. <laughs> yeah. So my haul. Your haul. Um, I... I got floss. Oh, talk Big about day. your other finishes and we'll insert pictures, your pillows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I did finish one, two, three, four finishes, uh, Primrose Cottage Stitches. Uh, one was um, spring and then the January, February, and March. No. Uh, Shamrock Kisses. Shamrock Kisses mm -hmm. and January and February monthly pillows. Yeah. And I have the March here to finish and then one more welcome, I think welcome spring or something yeah. says to finish. But I do have those and I have pictures of those that we'll insert. Yeah. yeah. So I did get something done. All right, so then I got floss. This is brandy, which finally came in. We uh, ordered 23 colors of uh, Gentle Arts sampler threads. We got five. Wow. So, yeah, they're, they're, still they're having so much trouble. Yeah. And then I got, God knows why I got this color, but I need it for something I'm making. <laughs> so anyway, and then it's I- It's probably for your granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, right. I went to Hobby Lobby Here because to finish the, um, the mitten one, I wanted some lace. And oh, so showing lace I had, where's the back side of that? I, I, this was, um, the lace they had, which is perfect. And it'll work, uh, on that thing. And I should have that finished by next time. And all the, all the laces and trims were half price. So I got a little carried away. <laughs> There's no blue. <laughs> um, I'm surprised. I don't think they have. I oh, know, I, you definitely I have would have bought blue. If yeah. yeah. But those were, those were a dollar 99. So I paid a dollar a spool for them. Those and you know, hopefully it's colors that we'll use. Yeah. And um, I think maybe I have a blue, maybe, I don't know. I should have gone back and bought more. Mm -hmm. And this one was $4, so it was $2. So yeah, that was, that was you know, that's a good deal. That's some good haul. Yeah. And yeah. that's all my haul. Okay. Um... Oh, and just let me prove. I did start the socks, the new socks. Okay. <laughs> the second oh, sock. And the second sock. And I did finish, hang on, where is it? I did finish one of the little Aww. one of the little preemie caps, and so I have another sweet. one started. Isn't that cute? Yeah, Very cute. it's hard to believe that there's a baby that's going to fit into that, but yeah. Aww. So I love that yarn. It's just kind of a soft color, yeah. and so that's done too. Yeah. So yay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, last 
couple wrap-ups. So we did not get our last giveaway claimed from our one-year anniversary. So we redrew for the two Prairie Schooler Santas and we drew Kathy Snavely. So I'll put your information here, Kathy, and um, we will mail these out to you. So please send us your information at our email address below, twotallstitchers at gmail.com. Um, if you email us later this week, we'll be gone for retreat, but yeah. we'll get it out next week. So And please tell us you're over 18. Yes. So we can legally, you can legally give us your yeah. address. So we'll get those out to you, Kathy. Um, all right. Plans over the next few weeks? Um, I'm going to try and work on a couple more of my quick finishes and a couple more things I want to start. I'm now all hot to do the embroidery machine because I love these little key rings with the yeah. initials. And um, then they only took me like five minutes each. They were so quick. And I have a lot of cork. Yeah. And then Jenna and I are going to work on a project for one of her teachers after we finish this. And I am going to hopefully get some stuff pre-cut for retreat because we're yeah. leaving Wednesday morning and I have stuff that's what's stacked on the cutting table it oh. looks bad but that's the, my bag it's of tools and my, my retreat stuff Good. so I have several projects picked out already yeah and so I'm looking forward to it it's, it'll Me be too. fun we're seeing yeah. some friends we haven't seen in quite a while and, yeah. and it'll be really nice and we're meeting so. some new people yes we're meeting who new people watch the the video so yes. we look forward to meeting yes. you so yeah for me a uh, similar gotta finish pre-cutting and packing up for retreat. I did get some pre-cutting in last weekend, so I have two projects ready to go, um, but have a little more I need to do and then get packed up. And um, that's the plan for this Wednesday through Sunday. Yep. And then after that, we'll be home and just, the kids will finish up the school year after we get back. They finish before uh, Memorial Day. And Amazing. Um, yeah, then we'll get ready to get Amazing. going for the summer. So we'll be back probably in two or three weeks, depending yeah. on what our schedule is before I go on my trip with my Girl Scout troop. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's your big summer trip. Yeah. yeah. Tell them that's where you're in going. June. So our, our troop has planned a trip to Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. So we'll be heading there the second week in June and very much looking forward to showing uh, the girls some cities that I've always enjoyed spending time in. So um, yeah, that's, that's yeah. the big Big activity between now and then is finishing up all the important things like trip insurance and hotel reservations and all all that kind of stuff. And she did an internship in Philadelphia when she was in college, so yeah. she's familiar with the city and she's uh -huh. looking forward to yeah. showing the girls all that stuff. Yeah, so, lots of history and lots of you know very yeah. different than here. It's an old town, yeah. you know, and, and yeah. we don't have an old town here, and so it's going to be neat for them to see that. Yeah. Plus, they have good East Coast food, right? And that'll be really good. <laughs> so our question for you today, we've already asked about if you're a monogamous stitcher, you stitch a lot. We Sorry all stitch that. a lot. We yeah. understand. Um, how long do you usually work on a piece? So do you switch every day? Do you have a rotation where you go for a few days? I know those of you who are monogamous stitchers, you'll stitch all the way through till it's start to finish. But just curious to know um, kind of what length of time you generally spend on each project. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that another question? Or it is. is. That... I put two in. in case. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I, you can tell we're clearly off our game today. We're off. We're kilter. a week early. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Messed us up. We need another week to recover. Um, so anyway, I hope everybody has uh, a great week and thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment and uh, let us know about your stitching style. And we look forward to seeing you again in a few weeks. Yes. Have a good week. Have a good couple of weeks and get lots of stitching done and enjoy the weather. Hopefully for those of planters or gardeners, get your stuff planted because now is the time. I think the yeah. freezes have passed and it, it's in really the Midwest, green. at least. Yeah, at least yeah. for us down yeah. here. So yeah. and those who are in the southern hemisphere enjoy oh. their fall. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> for you in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. Wow. Or anybody in, in, I don't know if we've ever had anybody come from Africa. Yes, a lady from Zambia oh, commented okay, okay, this last okay. video. Yeah. And it, I don't know how close that is to the equator. I'm not real good on that geography. geography but, yeah. you know, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, if you're in South America or anything, I'm, in, I'm envious. I really like the cooler weather. I'm not ready for the, it's going to be 87 today, which is ridiculous yeah. for the middle of May. But, you know, I didn't move up here to be hot. So, okay. Have a good Bye. time. We enjoyed seeing you. Take care. Bye. Bye.